It's been a frustrating project because obviously it's been closed for a long time. What we want to see is people being able to use the swimming pool. There's other facilities open in the, in the centre right now, but people want to go for a swim. And it's going to be a little while before that happens because of the nature of the damage that uh, was sustained and because of other underlying issues with the roof that is making the works more complicated than they otherwise would have been. We're so committed to getting this building open uh, as a city council because we know what it means to the people of West Ex and that's what we've been impressing to Kier and all the other contractors working on this project. We can see they're doing great work in there and we just want to impress them how urgently this facility is needed. It's pretty amazing. There's so many new elements in there. Um, new health spa, uh, completely retired facilities. Um, so it's looking fantastic, but you can see how much they've still got to do. And that's a result of, of the fire damage, obviously, but also underlying issues of the building that have been revealed through doing the work. So at the moment, there's nothing around the pool. There's lots of things still to define in the project. And what we're really pushing for is for them to get those things defined as quickly as possible because we want to see this facility reopen for the people of West Ex, for the whole of the city. Okay. It's going to be like a brand new building, which is incredible. Um, we, uh, it's going to look, you know, it's moving sort of from the 80s uh, sort of way it perhaps people remember it looking to kind of a really modern facility, which is, is going to be good. And I think that people are really going to appreciate it when it's open.